Always beat your meat, ladies and gentlemen. That is a wild way to start. I'm sorry. Good morning, everyone. We gotta feed the fishies. I know we're running a little bit behind schedule, guys. I'm sorry. I will. I will I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, we gotta go get ready for work. I'm getting ready for another afternoon shift. Should be alright. In the land of sky blue water. Always beat your meat, ladies and gentlemen. That is a wild way to start. I'm sorry. Today is the first day of me having this uh, the the meal prep and stuff, and I'm currently having my pre-workout meal, and so far it's tasting. Magnificent. I'm having some Chick-fil-A sauce with it, and I didn't think it would work, but it does. The reason why I say always beat your meat is because uh, I had my lunch, my chicken and rice or whatever from the, the, the little Fiesta lime chicken. It tasted great. Magnificent. Uh, however, one thing that I should have done that I didn't do this time was beat the meat. I should have just pounded the shit out of that meat. Cut me some slack. I didn't have enough time. Uh, I started the meal prep really late. I, I think I started the meal prep at like... 8 30 maybe 9 p.m until 12 30. i guess if you think about it three and a half hours for, for the rest of the week that's really not that bad compared to you know if you had to make a meal every single night this is tasting really good here uh i'm currently debating on a sauce to get for this meal uh, i don't know which sauce i should buy honestly right now i'm way more than content with chick-fil-a sauce this is this is really good the broccoli tastes good the ground beef tastes good and even the rice. I guess right now it doesn't really matter when it comes to the calories here because this, this has a lot of calories. This is 160 calories per uh, two tablespoon. As I mentioned, it doesn't really matter right now because I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm bulking and I don't really care if it's lean or not bulk. When it does come to the time that I start doing like a lean bulk or, or when I start cutting, that's when I'll switch to like a sugar-free type of sauce, which I'm, I'm looking at a bunch of sugar-free sauces right now at Walmart and there's a lot of options, so. I think I'll be all right. Either way, give me a sec. I do like this approach a lot of um, basic rice, basic meat, a little bit of seasoning, nothing too crazy. And you know, the calories are decent. I mentioned a few days ago where like, I used to pile on these like, like I used to do like one box of rice aroni for one meal and then a bunch of meat. And it's like, at that point, I, I just wasn't enjoying the food. This time I'm actually genuinely enjoying the food. So W in the chat one sec. And I guess on top of it, I, I, I like food in general anyway. So, uh, especially food that tastes good. Maybe bulking's not as hard as I thought it would be. Maybe cutting's the part that's really difficult, but you know, it's all good. And that's not to say that the food that I made a while ago with like the, 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 the meal prep and stuff for bulking, that's not to say that it didn't taste good. It, it tasted good, but God, man, when you prioritize like flavor and also kind of like eating in increments rather than just stacking the food all at once, it makes the bulking a lot easier. So for you out there that are, you know, like, interested in bulking and stuff i'd suggest you know have great meals make sure to you know cook for yourself of course make sure it tastes good and you know you don't have to eat so much all at once you know what i mean as long as you have like a good amount of calories you know uh, over time throughout the day you'll be just fine so if you're gonna have a pre-workout meal make sure to eat it like an hour before you go to the gym or sorry make sure you have an hour of digestion all right eat it an hour and a half before and then have an hour to digest your food right? my tips all doing tips all right Or just take steroids. That would be a fun video to do. Well, Aldwin get on steroids. Probably not, to be honest. I do know people that are enhanced. As cool as it is to have, like, bigger muscles, I feel like in the longevity, if you just genuinely train hard, eat well, you know, sleep well, all that kind of stuff, I think it's more fulfilling than uh, taking steroids, I think. I don't know. I could be yapping out of my ass. But that's just the the big Aldwin's opinions on it. Obviously, nothing against the people who are enhanced. But what's an extra 10 pounds of muscle going to do to your life? You know what I mean? This is an analogy that kind of makes sense. The people that are natural enjoy the process more than people who are enhanced. The people who are natural, they, you know, they enjoy the journey to the destination. Some people that are enhanced, they, they just want to get to the destination. So, I don't know. Just thoughts. Oh, God. Now I'm going to get into steroid talk. Oh, my God. Let's get into it just a little bit, right? It's being more... I guess, worshipped nowadays. Worshipped is a strong word, I guess, but it's more accepted and honestly a lot more praised. A lot of the influencers that you see uh, are enhanced, all right? Of course, I could name the big ones, but, you know, I, I mean, it's pretty obvious that they are enhanced. You know, for, for those of you that need a little bit of uh, guidance, I guess. Trent Twins, Seabum, Larry Wheels, 
uh, David Laid, if I'm correct, Noel. There's a lot more. And not to say these guys are bad people, but this era of like the, the bodybuilding community, a lot of it revolves around steroids nowadays, man. And it's like, whoa, like one perspective that I saw last night and you know, I've, I've thought about this because it was it was shocking. It was shocking. Let's take, for example, Alex Eubank, all right? Now, regardless of what you think about him, right? I, I think I, I'm a I'm a fan, all right? I'm a fan. So uh, this isn't just me meat riding. This is my observation. And I think it's, it's just weird. We have gone to the point where steroids is such like a normalized thing now. People in the comments of like an Alex Eubank video or someone talking about Alex Eubank, people in the comments are like, oh, bro has a mid physique. What? <laughs> that is crazy to me when like two years ago or even last year everyone was riding alex's shmeet you know what i mean a lot of toxicity and a lot of steroids that's really what it is and could the toxicity come from steroid use potentially because it's not just the adults taking the steroids it's a lot of it is kids or teenagers sorry teenagers and young adults to me that's scary because the same way with like the vaping epidemic it, the, the steroid users specifically the unsupervised or unprofessional ones right the ones that go to the back alley and prick their ass you know what i mean we don't know what's gonna happen to them in the long run like what's gonna happen to them in the next like 20 years hell even 10 years you know what i mean and it's like do i want to be involved in that i if no honestly no i've thought about it obviously i think everyone's thought about like what would it be like to to take you know whatever trt test trend whatever i only have a year and a half of on and off training into this whole like gym stuff so it's like if i take it now it's way too early right and that's not even the main factor i'm just kind of giving an example as to why i don't want to obviously the main reason is like the health risks steroid no medical check-ins bad there's my talk when it comes to peds i don't know <laughs> This is really gonna annoy some of you guys, but uh, let me let me fear monger here just a little bit. Boys, <laughs> fall is coming, or fall is almost here. It is cloudy. Well, actually, it's more than that. It's raining. It's dark. It's a little bit chilly. We're pushing towards fall, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, that push is almost complete. All right, I'll make sure this is the last time I complain about it. Right, the last time. Depending on how you look at this, this next thing I want to say, this could either be like a thank God moment for you guys or like a, oh man, this is unfortunate. This video right here, this is episode 253 of the daily vlog series. And as some of you may know, there's 365 days in a year. So you know what that means, 365. We're getting close to having only a hundred episodes left. If I do the math right, we have 112 episodes is it 112 episodes left? it's kind of sad it's kind of scary i can't believe that i've been doing this for 252 days straight and for the people that, that hate me or something uh this is a w because you know we're, we're getting close to the end for the people that love the series this is kind of an l because you know we're, we're getting close to the end but, but i'm here to fulfill the people that like the series because i've already mentioned this before i'm going to continue the series all right i don't know how i feel yet i don't know if i want to take like a one week break but i don't know we'll just have to see but point is Gym time. Push a day. Bros and bro debts, we have a couple things to talk about, all right? This first one isn't as important, but it's it's just fun to talk about anyway. Jey Uso is now the Intercontinental Champion. He beat Braun Breaker, which is interesting. Very interesting choice, but with the whole new era of WWE, we're just gonna have to let Triple H cook and see what he's got on his mind, you know what I mean? Because if you look at it just at face value, right? Uh, Braun Breaker, he is one of the more, like, pushed... Uh, superstars in WWE and and when he got the Intercontinental title uh, I think it was in SummerSlam, SummerSlam yeah he only had it for I'd say two months maybe two months and then he lost it to Jey Uso which interesting but I feel like it's gonna be part of a different and bigger storyline so um, yeah I, congratulations to Jey Uso he's now the he's now the champion cool Yeet. The more important part, all right? Fitness. Yes, more fitness talk. I, this is another phase in my life, isn't it? This is just like the yearly fitness phase, but I'm gonna... <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna let it ride out. The point is, I had a nice little pump today. I got to the gym around like 8.30, give or take, and we got done at 11. <laughs> but the main important topic, so I meal prepped three things, 
uh, one for lunch, one for a pre-workout, and one for a post-workout. Lunch being uh, the chicken uh, meal, pre-workout being the the, the ground beef and in the post workout being the salmon which one do i like best i think for now i'm gonna have to say the pre-workout i think which one's the worst and it's okay i say this like it's bad right but no that's not what i mean at all like all the meals that i made fantastic right but my least favorite because it's you know i only have three options here i think the least favorite is the fish but although the the salmon meal delicious i guess i would prefer the other two more I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of food back there that I'm gonna put in the fridge. Hopefully there's enough room. If not, I'm gonna cry. That's about it, boys. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you guys as always. I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Bye. Turn around. No, I got options. Begging me to go, but I tell her to stop it. Always got the key and my heart is the lock it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a pro, but you're really a novice.